Hi, my name is Chris Noe, owner of Venetian Builders, and today we have a really great opportunity to take a look at a screen enclosure that was installed by somebody who, let's put it nicely, may not have known exactly what they were doing. And what we see here at this house is very typical of an inexpensive, uh, thrown together type screen enclosure job that wasn't uh, properly designed in terms of drainage and securing fasteners and things of that nature. So number one, we see standard screen door, very flimsy. These are the old fashioned little screen doors. They cost about 20 bucks to buy from our material supplier. But of course, they're not exactly the best when it comes to the single part of your enclosure that gets touched the most. This is why we at Venetian Builders use a much heavier grade of screen door. Second, if you take a look at the finish on this enclosure, you can see that it's heavily oxidized. Now this comes from using a spray applied paint finish. Um, you can expect about three or four years of your enclosure looking new if you use the really expensive finish and then after that you're going to get oxidation similar to you see on a boat. Now I'm sure you also noticed these fasteners are actually the wrong size installed into the face of the beam. This is the part of the structure that holds this sucker up and here we've used a size of screw that's two sizes too small. In addition you can see that all of our fasteners are rusty. So both on our beam and our connection to ground, we have fasteners that at this point have failed. Moving on, our K-brace plates, much too small, rusted fasteners, rusted fasteners, and then looking up, this is my favorite here, is this is our gusset plate connection on our mansard style roof, and you can see all the fasteners have completely rusted out. This is very typical of the cheap imported screws, cost about a penny each to buy, versus a much higher quality product, which is gonna cost about 10 cents each to buy, but of course we feel like it's worth the extra money. Uh, up here, we're looking at our connection between our wall beams and our roof beams, and you can see this is just a simple overlap connection, which means they take the beam and they spread it open, notch it out, and then slide it on top of that wall beam and then just screw it in. This is a course where we use another gusset connection like that, uh, only of course much more substantial. Then our last issue here is a waterproofing one, is that it looks like the screen builder couldn't figure out how to properly install this gutter. So you can see here we got a little four inch structural gutter and then as we have this bay window, no gutter whatsoever. Now this is indicative of somebody looking at this and not being able to figure out how to get a downspout out of the enclosure. But of course the right way is to gutter this section as well, put a downspout down here and bury a PVC pipe that drains out into the yard. So this was a great example of exactly how you can build something using cheapest possible materials and uh, the lifespan that, that is a result of it. If you're looking for a more substantial build, feel free to call Venetian Builders, 866-596-2427. Or you can look us up online, www.buildbuild with venetian.com. Thank you.